Welcome back everybody. So third day here on this lake and it's our final day. So we're going to be chasing again the biggest fish that we can possibly find. I've got to take care of a couple mystery tackle box videos first thing in the morning. So I'm going to knock those out and we're going to meet back up with you guys. But Eric's going to share some of his fish catches with you while I'm filming this mystery tackle box video. And we are hopefully going to be able to seal the deal with a giant fish today. I'm feeling really good about it. And so does 200 other people that were launching out here. So let's go catch some fish. Long run, very, very long run. Probably took us, what do you think, 45 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. The first day we were here and yesterday we did a lot of exploring like mid lake and up lake, but today we decided since it's our last day out here, we we're gonna make a giant run all the way down like to the end of the lake, complete other side. And you know, with this boat, we're only doing like 18, 19 miles an hour. It took a long time, but supposedly the bite and numbers are down this way. So we wanted to see if we could come down here and catch a bunch of fish for this mystery tackle box video and then we're gonna run probably back to mid and try to find that big bite when it comes to fishing a new lake like this it's like really up to you what your fishing style is what if you want to catch big fish or if you want to go out and catch a bunch of numbers that's all personal preference for me making a you know 14 hour drive and coming to a lake with big fish I want to chase the biggest fish that I can possibly find but Got to take care of business, knock these mystery tackle box videos out, and Eric's gonna be fishing for the first part of this video. So, let's go. Gar. They look like there's something wrong with them. Did that Gar have it? Ooh. Little bass! Hee <laughs> hee. I know I said I was gonna start by doing some mystery tackle box video stuff, but I just had to get one out of the way real quick. Caught that on a Magnum black trick worm, Texas rig, just dragging it around. It actually ate it on the fall. We're marking so many fish out in deep water, it's crazy, but look at that. Little Florida bass. Long and skinny. Bye. Well, ice broken, that's good. I feel like there's so many of these right here that's what we're looking at yeah probably got him yeah, not very big not bad it's okay swim bait uh frog frog nice and the boat flip Phew. come here buddy got him first one of the day for me this is, uh, Matt's working on some of his MTB stuff. So, cast around the filthy frog up here on the edge of this channel. Stuck about a pounder, so we're gonna get right back at it. Got him? Yep. Heard that one. This one's a little bit better. Two Another one. Later. Another one on the filthy frog. Better than the last one. Oh, he's he's two all day. All freaking day long on the filthy frog. About a two. Same thing I was doing last time. So back up on the board again. Nice. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> How good are we talking here? Yay! We're finding them. Drag them in. Crank him. Ah, that might bad. be my uh, three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. Oh, he <laughs> he choked the frog. About a three and a half on the filthy frog. I just haven't put it down for the past two days, so I'm gonna keep throwing it. Yeah. All right, a little later than I was hoping, but it's like 12:40 or one o'clock. What time is it? 107. 107. Bite's been a little tougher than expected. 
Uh, I got the mystery tackle box stuff done, so we're gonna pick back up where we left off and try to catch a couple fish. The frog seems to be doing some work for Eric, so I tied a frog back on. I'm gonna rip the Senko around a little bit and maybe do a little Texas rig. I just got bit on a Texas rig crawl, but I really just wanna catch some fish. We're kind of in scramble mode since it's the last day. Just need something. Oh god! Oh, got a really bad hook set on him. He was sitting right on the edge. I flipped that crawl up and I started to like reel down and I go for my first pull and he hit it when it was like right here and I took two reels and popped him but my rod was way too high and he was running at the boat. Do that way. Yeah, so. Back around. That was a fish right there, dude. I thought it was stuck in grass. He was just swimming my line through the grass. Yeah, just a black crawl. I'll, I mean, I just cast it up there so I could work it back. That fish ate like on the other side of that grass. I, yeah, I'm just kind of hopping it through that sparse hydrilla. They're definitely eating this crawl though. Like it's not insane, but I've had three bites in this little stretch that we started fishing. Been an hour since I last talked to you guys. I've missed three fish. I think Eric's hooked into one or two, but black and blue crawl on a Texas rig. It's getting bit. Really like the best bit of a pattern that we've had all day. Everything's been here and there, besides the frog bite, obviously. But I'm gonna stick with this. I might actually take some of this weight off. This is a 3 8 ounce Texas rig weight. I might go with like a quarter just because I think that slower fall may help these fish kind of see it and just go after it. It's gonna be a little bit more finesse, but we need some bites. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. What's your name? TJ Loftus. TJ Loftus. Good to meet you, man. Likewise, man. You ain't been able to find any decent fish yet? First day I caught a seven and a half on a, a bull wake <laughs> that was pretty fun but other than that everything's I think the biggest has probably been three and a half. Oh, my man <laughs> Quick fix. hell yeah thank you um, is this the this the move yeah a little 16th ounce tungsten okay mm. i was just talking about that i was yeah, like i need to i need to put a lighter weight on we were like, oh, we're probably throwing too heavy. We got like three eighths rocking right now, so. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, TJ. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciate that. Dude, Seriously. I, saw, I Thank saw you a little bit ago and I was like, man, that ain't him. And then you come in here and did that little loop de loop and I saw the GoPro and yeah. I saw the 10,000 fish. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no way. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> awesome. Oh, well, Thank thanks. you, TJ. Really appreciate it, man. It was great to meet you. you too, I'll be in touch. Nice meeting you. See ya. Eighth ounce weight, eighth ounce weight. Yeah. Finally, we've been searching for one of these for a while and huge shout out to TJ. He hooked us up with a whole bag of these worms. I think he did tell us what they were. I don't recall, but again, it's like a Senko fluke combo. And he said to fish it on a 16th ounce weight. I don't have anything that light, so I'm going with an eighth and have it pegged. He said just throw it up to the grass, work it really slow, and they should hit it within the first three feet. And that fish actually hit it once, dropped it, and I just let it sit there. He came back and picked it up. So that one's uh, pretty sick. Thank you, TJ, for these worms and for putting us on some fish, man. I think, yeah, I guess. It was like, mm. Just got bit the next cast. I'll say that's a pretty good sign that we're gonna catch some fish. <laughs> I like when we ask, how you doing? He's like, we're, we're doing all right. 
they probably caught like a ton of fish and those they had that six and a half bowfin oh wait is that a bowfin that was a bass i think we've got something slowly coming together we fished that one grass line it's a canal and then we fish across a huge flat with a bunch of kind of isolated grass and then we get up to another canal that's more grass lined right at the mouth decent two two and a half on that same bait that tj gave me so i'm going to keep ripping that around and hopefully catch some more i think we'll stick to some of these canal grass lines and hopefully put something together it's been a long day Like, it felt like hydrilla. I would have sworn that was hydrilla. <laughs> it just like... Uh, that's good. I did just ticked and then kept kept going. Noise! Yeah! You saw me. Look at that. You put the worm on and it worked. <laughs> just, just like third earlier. cast. Yeah, shit. That's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good work, man. Thanks, thank you. Woo! We needed that. Thanks. Oh, big gator. Look who decided to show up. God. He's going crazy. Hey, -o. TJ. We're getting pinned good. Happy about that. I don't even know what this worm is called, but he ate it on the fall. As soon as I picked up my line, it was running off. He just dogged it. Jeez. Let's get him back. So, we pulled up to another spot that has just really deep water, really deep being like 14 feet, leading up to this big grass line. Another one of my subs, Chris from Instagram, hit me up and said he was fishing out here yesterday and hooked us up with the spot because it's not a tournament lake and everyone's fishing it anyways. So huge thanks to Chris for hooking us up and TJ with the baits, you guys are hooking us up with fish. I love it. Not much to it, cast out, wait for it to bonk it. And it's out. I got the best subs, too nice. I even, like I told that guy Chris, last when I was texting him, he was like, said he was out and they did pretty well. I just asked him like, where are you roughly on the like? Are you, are you all the way south? Are you all the way north? Direct, I didn't like a cardinal direction. Just, yeah, even if you wanted to show that, you didn't feel me. I was just like, what area are you focusing on or catching fish in? Drops you, and then he dropped me a pin to the spot. What a guy! Got him! Woo! Nice! Little man. Bye, right, buddy. Hope you find your dad. See ya. On the same setup. Oh, Just man. getting it done. There it is. My boy. So. That was a perfect hook set. <laughs> Jacked it. <laughs> I got scared. I went, I went running I forward. Know, I know. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if those are bass jumping out there. I don't think they are. What else could they be? Gar? Those are too big to be for him. Little guy. Oh, doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. Yeah, now we're, now we're getting into them like we're supposed to be. Hell yeah. Fish bump. Boop. All right, let's do a little something. Oh, maybe not that little. 
<laughs> They're back here. Oh, I might need help. Oh, yeah. you need a net? No, maybe just grab them. Yeet! Ooh! Oh, that's probably my biggest. Boom. Boom, baby. That's the biggest one for me of the trip so far. Not a bad fish at all. Back in this cut, I mean, it's all like hydrilla and hyacinth, so. We've been on that pattern the whole time we've been here. So it's good to finish it out this trip with a with a couple decent fish. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, it's cold, it's cold. He's good. Oh, long one. Bruiser baits twitch stick. Yes. Solid fish. We actually figured out the name of that worm. It's called a bruiser baits twitch stick. And literally we were turned around looking at the clouds trying to figure out which way the storm is going to go. And my bait is just sitting in the grass. Turn back around, reel up the slack. Boy, It's a solid little fish. I don't know how many we've caught today, but numbers are decent. I mean, as compared to home, definitely good. So, see ya. Size ain't bad either. For northern boys. You never know, 10 pounder, last cast. Last cast, 10 pounder. That might have been Mr. Big. But, let me just throw it back. Whee! Okay, it's a fish. <laughs> it is a fish. All right, everybody, we are packing up and heading home after that last fish, so. The boat is a freaking disaster. I'm exhausted, I know Eric's exhausted, but the trip was a very big success. I had such a great time, we caught plenty of fish. Got to explore this new lake, spend a lot of time on the water, but now we gotta try to avoid this lightning storm, so. We'll see y'all back at the van and finish this one up. Boat's packed, van is packed, and it's time to go home. What an awesome, epic, fun trip. I mean, caught my second biggest fish of my life. Met a bunch of awesome subscribers, which was great. And we got to explore this new lake. I mean, I would do it again a hundred times. I really look forward to getting back here. So the name of that bait is the Bass Addiction Gear Twitch Stick. It's like that little Senko with the fluke tail. We said it probably a hundred times, but honestly, if we hadn't run into him, and he hadn't been nice enough to throw us that bag of twitch sticks. We, I don't know, we probably would have got a couple more fish, but not nearly as many as we did this afternoon. Literally ran through that bag of them, and I'm super stoked that we ran into him because he saved our asses. I'm gonna leave a link for those baits down in the description below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and the last few videos of us here on this lake, but it's time for us to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button for me if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you on the